know, are your I, neighbors like used to you at this point? Heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder walking his dog? Or? Like I said, I live on an island, so I only have one one neighbor. <laughs> she a mile away down. You know what I mean? And her name is Lisa. She's from Germany. And she swims still, you know, in the lake back and forth. She's been in tremendous shape. And she motivates me. When I see her, I'm motivated. Because this woman is probably about in her 80s, probably early 90s. And she still work out. She still walk. She still swim laps because her son, you know, he went to the uh, the University of uh, Vanderbilt, and he's a swimmer. He was a swimmer there, and you know, it's just I think they got a, a long line of swimmers in their family, and she still does it to this day. And she she get in that lake. I would never swim as long as she swim, you know. So that's something that I say, man, I gotta I gotta build my confidence doing something like that. You know what I mean? I get in the kayak, I get in the boats, and do different things. But with her, you know what I mean? She's she's amazing, you know, and that's another ploy. Every time you see me, hey Deontay, she called me Deontay. It ain't channel, hey Deontay, I'm like, hey Melissa. <laughs> but it's it's just a beautiful place to be. Here. Although I have multiples of a, a property in different states and stuff, you know what I mean. They all give me different energy. But it's just some like it's no place like home when I'm training and, and doing what I gotta do, and then I'm ready for the world. All right, we're gonna take one more. Oh God, Deontay, you kind of. Um yeah, you know, you're surrounded by all these journalists and all these boxing journalists, all this media. I imagine it's probably it's probably a different look than the way it was when you first started. Mm. Can you give us some perspective on what this world is like now than what it was oh, like man. when you first started out boxing? Man, it's getting crazier and crazier, you know. But I think I'm the man for the job, you know. Um, my life, my life is definitely not easy. But the, all the things I have going on in my life, you know what I mean, is is. It's crazy in the position that I'm in, you know, from the beginning, I remember when we used to have to scrape up money to go get sparring and, and travel to go do things, scrape up money to even eat traveling, and you know what I mean? And <clears throat> the gym was even smaller than this, you know what I mean? Which I like a, I like a, a rough looking gym, you know what I mean? It allows you to be able to even more go into to um, focus, you know what I mean? Cause when you look around, it's, it's nothing. It don't like, you know, it look like trash and stuff. But the best fighters come out of, you know, rural areas and, and rugged gyms, you know what I mean? I like to keep that environment in that space. Although I do have plans for other things or whatever, but at this point, we, we love it. We love to be amongst it. And, but now, you know, it's just like, it's just to the point where you done gain so much success and you're able to do whatever you want at this point. Like I could do whatever I want at this point in time in my life. I can go so many different places. I could have left this place Long time I could have switched up trainers and stuff, but loyalty is 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 is, is a very important thing for me in my life. And as you can see, I still have the same team. I'm still training in the same gym. You know, although we pull up in Rolls Royces in this motherfucker, but <laughs> it's just the beauty of it. Just let you know success and and, and the love that is here. You know, all my guys have my best interest in best interest in heart. All my guys love me, and want to see me make it. And I allow them to come along as well as my brothers. I've been around them for a long time. We think the same way. You, we move the same way. We come in peace, like I tell everybody. I'm, I'm the time you see me doing anything is somebody break the peace. But you know, I always teach my guys. You know, as I make it, I allow them to. You know, I teach. I tell them certain things that what I've inquired from other people that I probably hung around. Or, you know, or, or, or someone I'm trying to become. You know what I mean? Or get tips from them. I share with them. You know, everyone has levels. And as a king, I try. I, I want my guys to be kings. That way, they can lead their own kingdom with the knowledge that they have. They say the. You know, they say the only way to become wise if you must apply knowledge to your life to become wise, because age don't bring you wisdom. You can be an old fool as well. You know what I mean? And that's the beauty of it. Okay, King Deontay. The hey, first. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sign off the stream now. Thank you very much, champ. And Blessings. on November the 23rd, yes. Las Vegas, where you won your first title. Man, I've been there in a long time. And you coming back to defend it for the 10th time. That's, that's, that's mind-blowing, right? 10th yeah. time you're coming back. So everybody tune in. Fox PBC Sports Pay-Per-View. Deontay Wilder, the longest reigning heavyweight champion, the king of the heavyweight division, is going to be fighting Luis Ortiz, a man that everybody was afraid to step into the ring. You're going to run it back with him, though. They're calling me crazy. Too. They're calling you crazy. Yeah. You ain't crazy. Ain't you know crazy what you're doing. You're crazy like a fox. Hey, you know.